Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be a new reading vlog doing my read it or unhaul it challenge I'm doing all year long. I will link down below the playlist, the rules and everything. Essentially, all of these are unread books that I have on my shelves. This is ridiculous. We started with 411. I don't know how many I have read at this point because I'm also reading random books throughout the months. But once a month, I do a whole week reading these books. Sometimes I read one, sometimes I go through like six plus because I'm getting rid of them because I don't like them, which is okay. It's a good thing. I essentially want to go through the books that I've kind of forgotten on my shelves. A lot of these I feel like I'm gonna really love. I just keep forgetting they exist. It's a problem, uh, but <laughs> not this week. We're not forgetting anything. Let me find a thing. I'm not gonna shake it this time because the cat goes absolutely insane every time I do this because she thinks it's treats. I didn't realize that until someone commented it. So it's green. Green is fantasy, which is a genre that used to be my all time favorite and I've been neglecting it for the last year. I don't know why. So it looks like we're fixing that. Um, Hopefully it will focus. Hopefully it's also on the right side. I didn't check, Can I, I can't even see through. So I have no idea. Hopefully this time it focuses. I'm nervous. Some of these are really big and a lot of these are part of series, which I've been really terrible at finishing series. Oh, it was backward. City of Stairs. Oh, that's a good one actually. Oh, I'm at, that is a really good one. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, so City of Stairs. I know where it is. These are my two fantasy shelves. And I can already see it is right here. There you go. I'm actually really, really happy. I have been meaning to read this series for so long. And I mean so long. And this is a perfect example of something I keep forgetting about. It's also, unfortunately, the first book in a series, which the last thing I need is to continue to start more series. But it's okay. Uh, I think I might be able to binge read this trilogy if I enjoy the first one. From what I remember, this is an adult fantasy, uh, old gods. I uh, believe this is really heavy on the political intrigue, which I'm totally okay with all these things. And I think there's magic too. So yes, of course. Sounds like something I would enjoy. Uh, it's 450 pages, so it's not too bad. I do have quite a bit of things to do this week because I need to get ready and pre-film videos for a surgery that I'm having in like two, three weeks. I am still taking care of kittens, which, oh my God, uh, they're about to hit three weeks old now and they're starting to move more and more, but I need to grab the rug that I have in my living room. I need to deep clean it basically this week, try to bring it upstairs because they hate the floor because it's slippery. But these little uh, are already making me very nervous because this morning I woke up to screaming. Number three decided to make an escape <laughs> and he was just stuck on the floor. Again, very slippery for him and he was just there. I didn't record it because I just panicked. I was like half asleep and I just heard the screams from the kitten come into the room and he's just there in the middle of the room. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. But yeah, uh, so I need to as quickly as possible uh, clean that rug so we can bring it upstairs so they can actually walk around because they're looking like they're about to start walking. But we're gonna try to read too. I'm actually really excited about it. it it's a good one, it's a good one. Actually, let me just read the first chapter right now which oh they're not numbered but i guess this is a chapter so it's 18 pages i'm gonna see you in a couple minutes but i already know i'm gonna read this so let's still try it okay so i'm not sure i understood what's going on uh but the writing style is fine fantasy you know they just throw you into a story they have a bunch of words and you're like what does that even mean um <laughs> but it, it sounds like i'm gonna be okay so i will see you later for an update but I'm actually so happy that this is the book. I haven't picked this up in years. Like I've been meaning to read it for like four years at least. And I think this is gonna be a five stars. So perfect. Shout out to Native for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. I was able to try three of their vegan, cruelty-free, non-sticky deodorant. I was able to choose the scent. And to absolutely no one's surprise, my favorite is the grapefruit and bergamot. Essentially, every time I have to buy a scent online, I pick whatever has bergamot and it becomes a favorite automatically. This one, no different. It kind of smells a little citrusy, but on me, it kind of smells a little bit like a Fruit Loop, which I absolutely mean this in a good way. 
I'm still a little bit traumatized by the first deodorant I've had to wear, which was my mom's and it smelled like baby powder and I hated that scent so much. So something fun and nice like that just sounded perfect to me. I also grabbed the coconut and vanilla, which smells like summer. I'm really excited to wear that one when things warm up in Canada. And the last one is citrus and herbal musk, which this one kind of smells sexy. Like it makes me want to work out, you know? So I'm really happy with these three. So if you're looking to try a new deodorant with simple ingredients and fun scents, I will link all the information in the description box. You can use the coupon code EMILYFOX for 20% off your first purchase. And yes, once again, thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. So uh, time for first update. Um, I am now at page 164. Again, the chapters don't have numbers. I am actually really enjoying it. It's definitely super heavy on the political intrigue. From what I'm understanding, um, there has been a war in the past between two people. I think one of them is like a smaller island and the other one is this huge cotton, but turns out the cotton lost and some of the like old gods were killed and like everything is in shamble and they're now under the time of the other people. And you're following the story through uh, this woman who is sent to investigate the murder of someone that she knows that worked there to discover more information. About, think about the old gods. I'm probably explaining this all over the place again. I'm not even halfway through the first book, but I'm actually really enjoying it so far. Uh, the world building seems, seems interesting. I'm intrigued uh, to hear more about the magic and world and the gods and yeah. I'm seeing the potential. The writing is fine. The only thing is the character, you get flashbacks of her as a teenager. And I don't know if I'm getting like Mel Arthur writing a teenage girl or just a teenage girl being cringy. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Um, but <laughs> it's not, it's not awful. It's just, you know, a little something that I'm keeping in mind. Very intrigued to see what's going to happen. Seems to have a lot of action, even though, again, it's pretty political intrigue heavy. And yeah, so far so good. Audiobook wise, I'm still listening to uh, Bad Gaze, throwing it out there, even though it's not really part of the challenge, but I'm really enjoying that one too. And yeah, so far so good. I have yet to clean the rug also. Um, <laughs> in my defense, I have been feeling so overwhelmed. I had to change. I had a dentist appointment literally the day after uh, I was getting surgery. I didn't realize until, you know, they called me to confirm. I'm like, nope, I can't do that. So luckily I'm having that tomorrow. So I feel like so overwhelmed that I keep dropping things. Uh, but this is good, which is what matters. And eventually I will find the time to clean the rugs because the cats are driving me cuckoo. Number three made an escape again. This is what I'm waking up to. The cat is screaming and then I see a baby. What are you doing? What are you doing, number three? Yeah, yeah, oh God, the other ones. I thought you would be the problematic one, but now it's you, it's you little baby. Yes, I'll take care of you. Um, E is on my list. Mm, mm, adorable little baby, adorable little baby. Love him to bits. Usually when I come into the room and like, you know, call them my babies, they all come running, especially that one. So I love him. Buddy's testing me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to eventually close the door. I haven't had to do that yet or put something to block it. They're starting to walk. They were crawling until like a few days ago. Their little butts were too heavy. Not anymore. Not anymore. They're starting to walk and it's really adorable. They look still very drunk <laughs> when you do anything. And number one, I wanted to include more clips because I mentioned it. He makes me laugh because he's just staring into space very often. And I didn't include as many clips of him last week because of that, because he wasn't doing things. And I wasn't necessarily recording him when he was doing that because it doesn't last, you know, forever. But I, I think I got him a few times and he's just there. Like everyone is like fighting, nursing, sleeping, and he's just sitting there staring at nothing. Thing. It's like, you know, the expression like the lights are on, but nobody's home. That's number one. Um, he's so cute. He lets me cuddle him as much as I want. Like, I can't wait for them to actually, you know, choose to do whatever they want. Like right now they're just, you know, uh, but slowly but surely number two is also warming up to me, which I'm super grateful because she was not liking the pets. She, she didn't care for it at all. So Oh, as soon as I turn on the camera, they stop fighting. Oh, there you go. Hi, Mama. 
<laughs> Show them how you've been so socializing. Hmm? Yeah, number two, pretend. <laughs> it's pretending she wasn't fighting everyone two seconds ago. I grabbed my phone and she stopped. <laughs> you look very innocent, but we all know. Clearly I'm obsessed with them, but who wouldn't be? I know you guys are too, so. Well, this is going to be an interesting update. Uh, here right now we have a crazy freezing rain storm. It's not looking good. It's really, really not looking good. Um, this is my, my window in my living room right now. Yeah, uh, and we just started and I already lost electricity. And the worst part is that I've never lost electricity as many times as went in the last like three years of living here. It's been relentless. So clearly, old neighborhood. Um, the good news is I'm going to have a lot of time to read this book. I have like 150 pages left, so I think I might finish it tonight if it doesn't come back. Um, and it doesn't look like it will. The internet on Twitter, Idol Quebec is like saying that it's, it's not looking good either. And like literally everyone I know one by one is losing electricity. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to lose all my food, which that's the only thing I'm worried about because... Hopefully not. I'm going to be eating some peanut butter banana sandwich tonight. But 150 pages. Currently, it's fine in the house. It's 19 Celsius because I increased the heat knowing that it was a possibility. The kittens are fine. I'm okay. Clearly, I'm wearing layers. Um, I'll be okay. But hopefully, it doesn't last too long. I was about to shower, clearly. Um, so... Fingers crossed, though, that um, I should save my battery. Enough talking. I'll see you probably tomorrow. I'm going to be done, for sure. Good morning. Um, this vlog is nothing <laughs> like I had planned, but we're following my real life, and my real life has been very chaotic. We lost electricity for like 48 hours. I have yet to check on the food in my freezer because I'm kind of terrified. I know the ones, the one, the food in my basement is no good anymore, but I'm hoping that upstairs is gonna be fine. Anyway, I'm finally warm. Yesterday I got down to like 15 degrees in the house Celsius. Um, so it was, it was cold and I was about to go to my dad's place to shower because he got his electricity back and I was going to be able to plug my stuff because my phone was dying and I had been recharging it on my laptop, but you know, it was dying too. And I was getting, getting worried about the kittens. They were fine. Um, they, we're spending a lot of time in that little house thing. I have like one clip of that. I was trying to, you know, save my battery, but they were doing fine. But I was starting to think if it lasted longer, I would have to move them somewhere else. And like four cats is a lot uh, to bring anywhere. So yeah, that, that's the update for the life. So I was able to shower last night when the electricity came back. I had just found fairy lights with uh, that work with batteries. I ordered them by mistake, didn't think they were battery operated and... I'm glad I was too lazy to return them because it was easier to use than like candles. Eventually candles, it's like smells too strongly and I didn't want to open the windows because anyway. Um, so that's day update for the life events. Now the books. Uh, first off, City of Stairs obviously finished it because I had nothing to do. Um, it was great actually. Frankly, I feel like this is the kind of books that my reviews are kind of boring because it was a solid fantasy and I haven't been reading a ton of fantasy and it's just a solid one. Very heavy on the political intrigue, uh, some twist, some interesting world building. I, towards the end, I was wondering like, how is this going to be a trilogy? I feel like this could be a standalone, but then, you know, the ending kind of opens the door for more and I will happily continue. I think I'm going to give it... I don't know, maybe it's a 4.5. I'm running it up to a 5, though. It's definitely the best fantasy book I've read in a while. And I'm super happy that I accidentally, randomly <laughs> picked it up for this challenge. So, yeah, I totally recommend it if you're looking for another fantasy series. I'm intrigued to learn more about the magic system. Like, I really liked, I really liked it. And then um, yesterday, I was very, very bored. So I started the book that I was meant to read for the next vlog, because might as well. Um, and it's... I have never known men, but in French, moi qui n'ai pas connu les hommes. Would you like me to do like a more in-depth review in my legs vlog? Because that that was the plan originally. I put a bunch of post-its in it and I wanted to compare it to the English version, which 
honestly right now my review is that this is a five stars and i liked it even more a second time absolutely i also started an ebook because i had you know my kindle i could read books i feel like every time i lose a cursity which is way too often i'm like oh i wish i had downloaded more or different books <laughs> And I felt the same because there's an arc that I was meant to read uh, this month and I didn't have it downloaded on my Kindle, so I couldn't read it. But I started uh, Beware of Chicken, which is like a... I got it because of the title and the fact that I wanted to read more like wholesome, low-stake uh, fantasy, and it totally is. The humor at first was a bit like teenage boy, but it, it gets better and now I am enjoying it and giggling. Um, I'm like 28% into it because again, nothing to do when, <laughs> when the sun was down. But it turns out it's a long one. I don't remember how many pages, but it's a long one. Uh, my Kindle was saying that it was going to take me like nine hours to finish it. So in this one, you're following uh, this man who comes from our universe, but he wakes up in a body in a alternative, like in ancient, ancient uh, China with magic world. And he wants to, he wakes up in the body of a monk that has like magic and he just decides to leave all of that behind and uh, become a farmer and it's like very low stake and so far I'm actually really enjoying it so I feel like it was good to balance the stress of losing electricity and the stress of reading I Who Have Never Known Man because that book is bleak fantastic but bleak so yeah that's kind of been um my reading experience this week um I I do not feel great right now i'm just very stressed still uh but i'm so relieved that electricity is back the cats are good i will include a bunch of clips of the cats uh in next week's vlog because once again i was saving my battery as much as possible but i do want to say that um you know how in the past only the chunky baby one the number three um was purring now all three of them purr i can't deal they're adorable i did move the rug I didn't mention that. Uh, that was my biggest thing. I was like, this is a sign. I should move it because I can't deep clean it. And I was very bored. So what did I do? I used one of those brushes to remove as much like cat hair on it as possible. And uh, I kind of kicked it a bit before carrying it upstairs, which it wasn't as heavy as expected. So that was good. Um, but I will eventually deep clean it. But right now it's upstairs and the cats are happy because they can run around and run around is a big word because i mean the little black and white one she was the first one to go she's very light so she's pretty good i mean she, she's running funny i will get clips next week promise uh and number three chunky baby <laughs> he couldn't get up on the you know floor because it was too slippery he's still kind of struggling on the rug but it's helping him he's gonna get stronger and you know get to it uh lots of clips of them fighting i probably have some of that because i tried this morning and that's pretty much all i got but they're adorable i love them and um yeah i attempted to give them a little bit of wet food because again i was bored um <laughs> just to try it you know the first time and they were not interested whatsoever mama ate the whole thing so at least it wasn't wasted and i mean she needs calories she's nursing three chunky babies so they're all getting enough weight too so yeah that was not the vlog i expected but i kind of did what i meant to do i mean i didn't continue my read it on the haul it too much stress for me so i switched to whatever i wanted but that's just me being honest so yay uh yeah i think i'm gonna go back to bed eat something warm go back to bed and then i'll finish editing this um yeah next week though i'm gonna talk to you about more about the book and i have a really exciting fantasy again to read i'm reading fantasy again who am i i'm excited only finished one book for the read it on haul it but it was a five star so i feel like i'm not too mad that i stopped right there that way you know technically i probably wouldn't have had time to read anything else if it weren't for losing electricity so success in my book I'll see you next week.